In this video, I'll lay down an acoustic guitar lead over a neo soul or smooth jazz progression. Then what we're going to do is convert that audio to MIDI and layer it with lead synths. So in this video, we're not just trying to cover how to convert audio to MIDI, but let's put it to practical use and make it musical. First, let's listen to the chord progression. All right, so that's the progression, and I'll get out the guitar and we'll cut a track. So after putting a little bit of work in, let's take a listen to where we're at now. All right, so my goal now is to convert that audio to MIDI and find some sounds that will round out this lead. So let's go through those steps. To convert this audio to MIDI, the first thing we need to do is turn on flex time. And then on this track, we want to turn on the flex time and we want to switch it to flex pitch. Now, if we open up the piano roll, Flex time has converted this to MIDI data. That's basically it's saying, this is what I think the pitch is, and it's converted it to MIDI data. And so now what we're gonna do in the edit is create MIDI track from flex pitch data. And if we close the piano roll, we'll see now that there is a track of MIDI data, how it's interpreted this lead. I'm gonna open up the piano roll again, and now we've got a little bit of editing to do. The first thing I think we need to do is turn this data up. So I'm gonna select all of these notes because I think the velocities are pretty low. So Command A, I've got them selected and then I'm just gonna grab this velocity and turn it up a bit. And now let's take a listen just to this track. So we've got some notes that aren't right, some extra data, like this one right at the start. This is not a note that I played, so we're gonna delete that. So we've got two notes here where we probably just need one. So that's a wrong note, we're gonna get rid of that. I think that's wrong. And then we got a couple down here at the end of this phrase when it probably should just be one kind of a short note. All 
All right, so I'll go through and edit this track, and it's just going to be a few notes here and there, and then we'll have a MIDI track that's going to play the right notes. All right, so I finished editing the MIDI data, and I looked for a couple sounds that I would like, and I found some. So let's take a listen. The first sound I found that I liked was actually just the keyboard. I liked using an electric keyboard to play this MIDI track. All right, so if we layer that, if we place that with the acoustic guitar lead, let's listen to that now. So it did a really good job of duplicating the lead, and I found a sound that I like. The keyboard has a nice little plucky sound to it. I like the attack of that. I also found a second sound I liked. It's kind of a flute-like sound. has an air and a round quality to it. Let's take a listen. All right, let's listen to the keys and the flute together. And now with the acoustic. Both of these are supporting players to the main sound, which is the acoustic guitar. And the key to layering sounds is they all should serve a purpose and be different enough to make adding it worthwhile. Anything too identical is pointless to add, and anything radically different might not make sense. It's calls like this producers have to make all the time, and there isn't always a right or wrong, just the choice you would make on that given day, even though another producer might not. Actually, especially if another producer might not. Now let's take a listen to what all of this sounds like together. And you may notice I've added some electric guitars. They're just some little single notes adding a little bit of groove or a little bit of movement. This is what turning audio to MIDI is really helpful with. You could go in and just play the melody on your keyboard with the original track, but if you want the layer to really lock in tightly, like this example, I think you'll find it quicker and possibly a better way. There are of course many different situations where these steps would work for you. Try it out, let me know what you think.